What's up, Taurus? It's time for your weekly reading. This is October 10th through October 16th, 2019. What's up? This is for you if you are a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Taurus, or maybe you're just going to page of swords a Taurus and check in on them. That's fine, too. All right. Help mom out. Like, share, subscribe if this one hits home. Thanks for all your support. This is general, so if you need something more personalized, I've included all my info below. You can go right to my website and book your private reading. <clears throat> what else? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I say bad words. If that's going to offend you, you can go ahead and click off now. Lots of good readers on YouTube that, well, they don't have potty mouths. So check them out. But I hope you stay because we have fun. And this is a good channel to get some clarity, all right? And get your messages for the week. All right, let's see what's coming in for Taurus. Oh, also, too, I have a new puppy. She likes to bark. So, you know, she's a Leo, so she likes to be heard, right? So if you hear it, just, just ignore that little puppy, all right? She's so fucking cute. Also, I put her on my community page. People are asking to see her, so I put a photo on there. She's a doll. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you guys. This is the 10th through the 16th. Typically, my readings are love, but just whomever you have on your mind. All right, let's check it. What hap what's going on right now? What's coming into the uh, current moment? We have judgment. Ooh, judgment day, major arcana, making some decisions. All right, what's the challenge to uh, that judgment card? Well, look who showed up after I mentioned him. The cute little page, little pesky page of swords. He knows shit about you, the Page of Swords. He's very inquisitive, all right? All right, what's on your mind, Taurus? It's temperance. Very zen energy. Sign of Sagittarius. Okay, balance, healing, being patient. Some of you have reconciliation on your mind or somebody that you're dealing with does, all right? What happened in the recent past? The Empress happen happened. That's you. Major for Taurus, maybe a Libran, okay? Knowing your worth. Could have been a new relationship here too. Wifey, energy, mother, that kind of shit. But it's abundance and growth and it's also self-love, all right? What's going on in the foundation? The emperor, sign of Aries. Standing tall, setting boundaries, stability and order, okay? there's a, um, We have an empress and an emperor here in the reading. So a divine partnership of some sort. This is a mom and dad, right? But they have a lot. It's, it's like a, for me, it's like a very divine partnership. All right, connection here, soulmate. What's coming into the near future? The five of wands. How do you see yourself right now, Taurus? Well, you see yourself as the four of swords. Sleeping. Are you guys sleeping a lot? Taking a minute? All right, the person that you've been involved with or that you're thinking about, what kind of energy are they bringing towards you? The nine of cups. Look how crazy that person looks. I'm just kidding. The Nine of Cups. I think this person's kind of getting their happiness back, right? You might be a wish of theirs too. We're going to see what this is. What's going on in your emotions? The Knight of Swords. Maybe a lot. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Aquarian energy. I always feel like with that Knight of Swords, it can be kind of, see, there, there goes the puppy. A lot, right? The Knight of Swords can be drama. It could be like you want to rush into something. You might be exiting. Those Knights, they're coming, they're going, but it's quick, fast-paced energy. Sometimes that Knight of Swords has something to communicate in a hurry. All right, what's the outcome for you guys? The Five of a Coin. Wah, wah, wah. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. <clears throat> be careful this week who you're texting and messaging. You may not get a response or vice versa. It's a feeling of loss, right? Strife. Feeling like you're not part of a group. For finances, maybe something comes up that you're not expecting, that you have to pay out on, something like that. The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Ain't nobody got time for that card. All right, getting in the water Uber and heading out, okay? Getting to calmer waters, more so mentally, with that Six of Swords. All right, Taurus, let's pull you back a little bit so you can see your flipping cards. All right, I like it. <clears throat> so this is the theme for the week. Okay, either you've moved on or somebody else has moved on. We've got that uh, Six of Swords trying to regain balance. Just get to a more peaceful place, right? That's why you have, this could be you, it could be them, but that's probably why you have temperance on your mind too, right? You guys see yourself as healing, recovery, pulling away, getting your thoughts together, all right? Let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, this is for Taurus. October 10th through the 16th, 2019.
what's going on for Taurus. Some of you guys, this is a marriage situation. Others of you, this is external to you. This could be a family situation. But we have a husband, a wife, a father, a mother. All right, judgment can certainly be contracts within marriage. For others of you, there was something very abundant and beautiful in the past. Could have even been pregnancy. I mean, especially with this card. Look, she's holding a baby, okay? <clears throat> but that empress is typically a mother. A lot of, it, and the, and the, temp, or the temperance, the empress card is everything, right? That energy embodies beauty and passion and intelligence and nurturance. It's just, it's everything. Um, we're going to see what all of this is. This is all happening because of the emperor. Again, Aries energy, Taurus, but also, you know, order and stability, regaining that. Setting some boundaries can be very stubborn energy as well. Sorry about the barking, you guys. Not much I can do about it. All right, let's see. What's going on for Taurus, the 10th through the 16th? What's the main message for Taurus for the 10th through the 16th? All right, let's see who's moving on. Sometimes the Six of Swords can be, hey, let's get in the boat together and get to a better place. Get to some sort of compromise or resolution, or somebody's literally traveling and moving, or just moving on from someone. What's the Six of Swords about? What is this? Yeah, the King of Pentacle could certainly be you, especially if you're male. This is Taurus for me. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Moving on, maybe from another Earth sign. Moving on to get your stability, right? What's this uh, King of Pentacles about? He's father, daddy. See, Ace of Wands. Going towards a new beginning, okay? And it's like bossing up. Right? It's all happening because of the emperor. Very strong um, masculine energy. Could be definitely your, you know, masculine. Look, divine feminine, divine masculine. We all have masculine and feminine traits. Um, but definitely something new. We're leaving something behind. Because coming in right now, we've got judgment. Why is judgment coming in for Taurus right now? Oh, my God. Judgment on top of judgment. Huge energy. So when you get two cards of the same, the same clarifying the card, this is a huge message for you. Big, big changes coming in right now. Judgment Day is rising from the ashes. Uh, card of Scorpio. But what's judgment about? A very big decision. What's judgment about? Nine of Cups. Yeah. Satisfaction doing you. Either you or the other person, and it's very kind of confident. The Nine of Cups can be a little bit smug too, right? Dating, happiness, doing things that just make you happy. Whatever that is to you, and you've made that decision. Because the past, we have the Empress. Taurus, that could be you for sure. Libra, what's this Empress energy about? Yeah, the Six of Cups. Some of you guys had a baby in the recent past. I'm just saying. Look, this message isn't for everybody. Take what, take what resonates. There's pieces of these messages that fit for different people, all right? If it's not yours, it's not yours. But I'm seeing a mother and children in the recent past, a lot of nurturance and love, right? Also, too, you guys had a very strong connection with somebody. We have soulmate energy there. What's the Six of Cups about? Yeah, look at that, the Ten of Cups. Look at all this. A lot of you guys were spending time with family, too. All these family, very nurturing um, energy with that Ten of Cups, getting your happiness back to, um, this is a marriage for some of you guys. On your mind is temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance on Taurus's mind? Side of Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands, big Sagittarius energy. Some of you have a fire sign on your mind. This is balance. This is healing. This is doing the right thing and being patient about it and feeling confident and moving forward. All right, taking action is what that Queen of Wands does. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Page of Wands. For some of you, it's something new. Could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be. All right. Sending out messages, communication. This Page of Wands is something new. A lot of fire energy. It's a spark. It's going for it. Okay. This is um, all happening because of the Emperor. This is in the foundation Bossing up, setting some boundaries, just regaining order and stability. Why is the emperor here in the foundation? Yeah, the page of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. In career, a lot of you guys are, fo are following a new dream, right? Because the page of cups can be a little bit of a dreamer. It's going after something. You're an authority figure of some sort, something new, taking action, bossing up, making big decisions. In love, this is um, a lot of you have new love here, okay? Communication, flirty, passionate. What's this page of cups in the foundation about? The three of cups in reverse. 
I think this is after having some sort of breakup. Okay, some sort of falling out. Now you have new love with the Three of Cups in reverse. I don't think that this is third party right now. I think that this is Taurus, either you or the other person going towards something new after a fallout. What's this Three of Cups in reverse about? Yeah, see, new. The Ace of Cups. New love. All right, a lot of you guys have something new, fresh, young, doing you, dating is the Nine of Cups. Coming into the near future, you've got this Five of Wands, though. What's this about? Why is the Five of Wands coming in for Taurus? I think Virgo had that. You may be dealing with a Virgo. Um, the Nine of Swords. All right, some conflict, some inner conflict here, some worry. Let up late at night with that Nine of Swords, really thinking about something and having some anxiety over some drama. What's this Nine of Swords about, though? What is this? Why is this coming in? The Two of Wands. I think about planning for your future, what to do next. You do have some conflict. Some of you will just be dating multiple people. You know, you got new love on the horizon for sure, but coming in, it's like, what do I do, right? You may have a lot of people coming after you, too. With that two of wands, this is needing to make a decision about making plans for the future. And there's going to be some anxiety with it. You may have an option between a couple different people, too. You see yourself right now is just kind of pulling away, resting, recuperating. Why is the four swords how Taurus sees themselves? Yeah, the five of cups. You guys are still living in the past a little bit. We have two fives here. While I do see new, young, getting out there, taking action, making a decision, that kind of stuff, I still see some reminiscing about the past and needing to kind of just pull away and continue healing. All right, we have two fives, which are challenges and strife. Why is Taurus the Five of Cups? But I also, with this deck, the Five of Cups, look, the Three have spilled, but they're hold, he's holding out the Two. It's not like in the traditional Rider weight, right? It's a little bit different. So it's almost like, oh, I'm almost there, right? Now, the person you've been dealing with, they, they're bringing the Nine of Cups towards you. What's this Nine of Cups about? And I think that this might have you kind of feeling isolated or left out in the cold a little bit. I think this is past energy. What's this Nine of Cups about? What's this about? Yeah, see the Empress. This person's getting kind of their confidence back. They're loving themselves. Libra and Taurus energy, that's you guys, right? The Empress is, again, abundant, moving forward. What's this Empress energy? Why is the Empress coming in? What's the Empress about? The Four of Swords, but they're you guys are kind of like ignoring each other or blocking or not talking. There's like withdrawal here, right? Um, and that's why in your emotions, you're the Knight of Swords. You might just be moving forward. You also may want to rush in and communicate with this person. Why is this Knight of Swords and Taurus's emotions? The Fool in reverse, but you're being very, very cautious. More Aries energy. All right. I think that there's a part of you that wants to rush in. You guys are still experiencing some sadness from something here. Even though you have newness in your environment trying to come in, that fool in reverse is like, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to take that leap of faith. I want to. I want to rush in. But why is that? And I think it's because you guys feel this kind of icy, iciness. It's either you or them, right? Why is the fool in reverse? Why is this here in your emotions? Yeah, the Two of Swords. I feel like you guys are ignoring each other. We've got the Four of Swords and the Two of Swords a lot. There's new love here, but it could pass you by if you don't kind of get out of this Four of Swords, Five of Cups energy, right? Why is the outcome the Five of Pentacles, though, for Taurus? Why is this here? Five of Pentacles? What is this? Yeah, the Four of Cups. A rejection, feeling bored, complacent. All right, this could be with your past person and also, to these new offers that you have coming in, right? You guys could be just kind of setting boundaries with new love. You definitely have offers coming in, but the outcome shows you're leaving people out in the cold because that's not really what you want with the Four of Cups. Also, this is your past person kind of icing you out. Why is this Four, four of Cups a little bit complacent, bored? Some sort of rejection. Why is this four of cups here? Why is this four of cups here for Taurus? The eight of pentacles. You guys may just put time and focus into work. I do think you'll have communication, whether that's online dating or actually getting out there. It's young, it's fresh, you know, but we still have this like residual energy here. Why is this uh, eight of pentacles and the outcome for Taurus? What is it? What is it? The queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Cutting shit out, right? That's not working out for you. Being very logistical, very kind of, you know, realist here. Somebody's getting, again, somebody's cutting something out. Why Why is this Queen of Swords in the outcome? Yeah, a lot of Gemini energy there. 
All right, making a decision to kind of just be, again, very logistical about the situation, about a partnership here, making that decision. Why the lovers and the outcome? Yeah, something that's just somebody's not making progress on. Chariot in reverse. Somebody's not moving forward. There's obstacles that can't be overcome. So I think you guys have a strong focus on work, and you're kind of like, yeah, this new stuff, yeah, it looks okay, it's cute, whatever. You know, we've got a lot of newness here, but you guys still have some healing to do. I want to check out, why is Taurus the Five of Cups? Why do they see themselves as this Five of Cups? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You're still burdened by something, a relationship. You guys have some, some more healing to do this week, I think, Taurus. If you want it, go for it. I see you guys kind of being a little bit complacent about it, not really wanting it. This is pulling away and doing some healing this week. But you will get offers and messages. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. And we will speak soon. Take care.